Yeah. <laughs> it's been amazing. It ha it's been a it's been so many things that we did, so many people that we met, yeah. the different backgrounds that people have come from, different yeah. experiences that they are coming with. Yeah. So I think uh, it was just an amazing four weeks. What did you think? I I agree, and I mean for me personally, because this is only my second time in India, I feel like I um, really sort of deepened my connections to the way of life, to the people, to the nuances, you know, um, of everything from language mm -hmm. to lifestyle, uh, to family structure, you know. Uh, and it really has been an amazing experience of <clears throat> making our trainings, you know, really figuring out together what works for one group may not always work for the next group, but it's good, and working together to figure that out. Um, so it's just been very helpful in the process, uh, and intense. And there's a lot of healing. I just felt a tremendous amount of healing um, on a lot of levels, individual and group. Right. Also, I was thinking this, uh, <coughs> you know, some points of time where we had to work together, mm -hmm. I think that that worked out very well. Mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you were able to bring your skill, your training, your experience to us. At the same time, I think the collaboration between us in terms of even uh, not just the organizations, but just the, the two of us as people yeah. uh, to be able to bring that together. I think there was a, there was a difference this time in uh, terms of, uh, you know, because we were talking about translation. Translation right. not just in, in the language itself, but in understanding right. a concept that you were trying to explain or right. simple uh, exercises or activities that you wanted the group to do. And uh, to explain that and to talk about that, I think it, even though we are familiar with English, it, you know, right, there is a difference. It was very, it was very humbling to realize that what I thought was really simple English just wasn't simple enough, <laughs> and, and or or just wasn't com getting comprehended. And I felt really grateful um, that we found a way to work together. And I felt like our connection strengthened because of it. Like that we just kept responding to each other. We just kept saying, "Okay, can we do this? Or can we go there? You know, what happens if we go this direction?" Um, that you and I just work really hard to collaborate and to make that effort to network um, with each other as well as with the group. And I think that's in part what made every training so incredibly successful. Because every single training I felt was a complete success. Especially as we as we got on. Right. The, yeah. I think we were getting better at coordinating and uh, discussing things. Right. And uh, right. collaboration, we were able to understand each other right. more. Right. And I felt that there was a lot of trust that was also there between yeah. us, which was, I think, uh, the key element yeah. to this yeah. collaboration yeah. happening and yeah. uh, being successful. And it also had to do with really feeling like we were on the same page. Mm -hmm. It's like I could say, okay, what do you think about going in this direction? from a counseling perspective or from an expressive therapy's perspective, you knew really about it. And I was like, I didn't have to, you know, and you would say the same thing and I would get it. And as I got to know more about the nuances of the Indian culture, it made much more sense. And so I think that our strength was about listening to each other mm -hmm. and connecting and we talked a lot, you know. Yes. We talked all the time about what worked, what was challenging, where we needed to go, so that that too supported the process, right? Yes. We were deep communication with each other. Um, and that just, I was really grateful for that. that I, you know, think, I think I was really, mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think the word uh, is that, you know, this, this thing 
that we talk about. That has to be, I mean, we have to be in the very same frequency to get yeah. that thing going. So, and that was easy. It was very easy to work with you, Jenny, I must say. Because <laughs> same here. <laughs> I mean, mutual, mutual appreciation <laughs> society happening here. Because the, it really, you just understood, you know, what I was trying to say in many points of time. And, mm -hmm. You know, it made it very easy. Mm -hmm. So I think mm -hmm. that is, there was no resistance or there was nothing like, you didn't want very detailed explanations. It was just, I had to say something very simple and you two understood that immediately. Well, and what good. was so much fun was, you know, when we were having our private conversations is, you know, I would start something and you would complete it. I mean, that's how we think, I think, we were at times, if you would say something to me about something, I'd be like, uh-huh, yep, got it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, it's like, we didn't even have to complete our own sentences. And I thought, wow, this is like a sister relationship. And that, I don't have a sister, so I just feel like, oh, wow, that's really cool. Yes, know? yes, um, absolutely. That's right, yeah. So I'm aware that it's, time is, time, time it's 10 30. There are more questions, but maybe we can, since you need to leave, maybe we can No, no, I have another five, ten minutes. Okay, um, so one of the questions was, I thought you were doing that. Well, yeah, but I wanted to ask about um, how you see the communities and the families and the people tr changing in India, what, what's causing those changes, and how do you see the work that you're doing together and, and separate and individually addressing those, those issues? I think a lot <laughs> of sociological changes that are happening in the community today, I think where we are even five years ago is not the same. Mm -hmm. A lot of things have been changing. Yesterday I was talking to this other lady who came to our meeting, you know, the lady who was asking a lot of questions and was sat in the discussion. She was saying also that just from the month of January to October, mm -hmm. our vegetable costs have doubled. Mm -hmm. Why I'm talking about this is because we are truly, truly in the last four or five years totally entered this market economy, capitalist economy, that things are just changing so fast. People are becoming displaced as never before. This is a very, very new trend that's happening. In the last five years, I think either the government is moving away people for the, you know, to build some new set of buildings or to sell it to private concerns. Uh, we are having a new airport built somewhere in Sri Parvato, extension of our airport because, you know, there, there needs to be you know, more, more air traffic and because of that, people have been displaced in that area. We are seeing huge malls that have been built in Chennai in the last four or five years. Western based malls. Really huge malls. And these malls have displaced thousands of people. People who have had, you know, attached home can be just a small home the size of this room. There will be three, four people living in that. And can you imagine the number of those homes that have been removed because private parties are building so it's just affected every single one of us. So we are talking about poor people who are being displaced on one end, crime that is increasing on another end, which is city of Chennai has not seen as much crime as we are seeing today. It could be all these people who are feeling so, you know, the rich are getting richer, there's no doubt about it. Right. And the poor right. people are being, are, they are moved, removed in the name of slum clearance, in the name of, uh, you know, uh, development, yeah. you know. So what happens is there's so much of unrest that is going on. And people trying to be uh, on a different level, on an economic level, you know. So then what happens is there's so much of pressure to start earning more, to start, uh, <coughs> Chennai was, uh, again, I think Tamil Nadu and Chennai especially was one of the cities where you know, we always said we are more conservative. We never showed <coughs> wealth that was not, uh, Bless you. that was not something that uh, people were, uh, you want some water? Yeah, okay. You keep talking. They were not, uh, 
<coughs> familiar with the, you know, if a, if a family had a car, for instance, you knew that family was rich. That was how we looked at it. Most people would rather take a bus and uh, commute. They wouldn't hear, they wouldn't uh, hire a car or they wouldn't have a car at home. And that has changed in Chennai. You see that uh, every family now wants to have one or two cars. Mama, why do it me not? Yes, so the marketing economy. Marketing economy has just changed, has just changed us. 